Yes, welcome back. Today we are going to look at um, the third assignment on the silo simulation. This is uh, still Okopol Lewis Harrison, MMP, coming to you live from PsyQ Space Engineering Services Automation Studios. Okay, I hope the past assignment has been great. We progress in earnest and let's look at what we have. Today they said, Access 3 select mode of operation. Now we have to select the mode at which we want to operate. When the selector switch in position A, the system shall operate the continuous mode. That is, it will be in auto mode. That is, the exercise one will be activated. Then, when the selector switch is in position B, then manual restart. That is, uh, exercise two will activate. When you select position C, we bypass the feeling. No feeling. The box will just be traveling across the uh, it will just be traveling across the silo. It will travel out, another one will come. No, the box will come, just continue falling out. There will not be any feeling. So there will be few bypass. Few bypass mode operation. Okay. So let's see how I'm gonna achieve that. Okay. Here this is the old program. Uh, this program is the second assignment that has to do with manual bypass. Okay. So now uh, what we'll do is this. Uh, let's create, uh, let's use these switches to create a switching barriers. You know, we cannot alter this program much. We just a simple thing. We won't alter it much. Remember, you will see many programs written. My own is unique. Their own is unique. Your own can be unique. I'm only guiding you to make you understand the concept. You may, after understanding my concept, you may even write a better program than me. That is the essence. Okay. Good. Let's see how it goes. Now, I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to stop this manual operation. I'm going to stop it until B is selected. So what I do is this. I'm going to take uh, this switch and put here. Then I will put uh, B here. So now, if I select B, only there will manual operation be, be true. Okay, that is it. Then uh, I need to also, I need an auto operation. Remember, in, in auto operation, I don't need this manual. I need to bypass this manual. You know that. I need to bypass this manual in auto operation. So all I do is, in, in, in order to bypass it, I need to bring in uh, a branch. I will put this was right inside uh the brush inside the branch okay no 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 uh this one is out here uh the branch actually will have to be i'm removing this branch here uh i'm putting the branch right under this because the two the option a this the option a and option b okay like let me say operation a and b require the full lamp for the night to re-energize the system so i don't need to create a problem for the full lamp contact so i put this one see now for this full lamp for the uh, for this um to bypass this for auto operate is for, for nice let a so what i will do is that i'm going to place this switch here and call it switch a that is my switch a but when i select it if I select A, okay, I will be able to have a pass. I will have a pass. I will have a pass. Okay. Then, if I select B, here I will have a pass. This man will be open. Here, I will have a pass here. What of when I don't want to fill the box? I want a continuous operation. I want a continuous operation. Okay? I can also place interlock to make sure that the switches do not misbehave. Okay? Now, but for C, all I will do is that because the C does not, the C just continue moving the box across the face of the silo. Do not do any filling. No filling is required. So for that reason, I'm going to put this contact here and call it C. 
Okay, so let's see. Okay. Then I will put a branch here to create a continuous bypass run with that C contact. Making sure that the bird continues to run without any problem. Okay, this is what I have. If I select A, B is open. Remember, it is a, is a rotary switch. It's a three-way switch. It's either you are in A, B, or C. If you are in A, B, and C are open. If you are in B, C, and A is open. If you are in C, A and B is open. So, we may not need interlock, but we place interlock later, depending, to avoid problems, okay? Okay, so, now, let's test on the program and see how it goes. Download the program. Okay, now, which mode do we need? Let's look at mode A, automatic operation. You can see, you can see, the bypass is here already. So, once this full lamp get energized, this operation will continue to start the conveyor. Is it that? Is it done? Is it does it? Okay. Now let's start. Let's see how it goes. Let's increase the scan time. Okay. You see, it's working. It's working. It's working. Beautiful. It's working. Beautiful. It's working. So what if I stop? If I stop it and select and select B. Now watch. No more auto operation. It remains there. I will need to create. I will need uh, to to energize this manual control so that this B three can see full lamp is there. Select B is already there, waiting for this contact to make. So, and this contact will come only when I press the start once again. Remember, that is assignment two. Pressing the start at the end of filling to continue the operation. That's manual operation. After you fill, you press the start. So, let's see if it goes. Just not pressing it long, just touching it. Remember the instruction. You can see it's beautiful. I go again. It's beautiful. It's working. It's working. So selection C is perfect. Now, uh, now let's let's look at uh, option C. In option C, in operation mode C, operation mode C, the belt continues to run. The belt doesn't stop. No feeling. No no feeling operation is done. Let's see if that works out. Oh, beautiful. That is beautiful. Okay. That is beautiful. Okay. That is another way I can say write this program. Okay. Uh, I can write this program. Remember, at all time, uh, on a, at all time, no matter your selection, once you click stop, everything stops. I can write this program I can do the assignment one on on a on a one um, subroutine assignment two one subroutine assignment three and one subroutine then I will put the operational selection on lag two right there I can make it possible to operate three different programs so that selection will just be done like I will use lag two like a scheda where you make the selections and see indications of oppression but the wrong that wrong the program will be located at sbr 3 4 and 5. i can also okay that is that is just the way it can work that is the way it can work okay so i hope it makes sense so much please you watch this video if you want me to create the program using sbr 2 3 4 and 5 for different program controlled by lag 2 using uh, uh, subroutine use subroutine please drop it in the comment section i will be glad to do that okay thank you very much god bless you keep on writing keep on bringing it on we're here to serve you make sure you learn what of, of automation this is timmy mmp Okonkwon Harrison. 
right like very very covering this event right from the studio okay so um then the next question the next question comes up in the next simulation and i wish we can start this simulation before um i make a video okay so start simulating on your own if i make a video okay live coverage from circus presentation studio saying thank you once again